Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you the junk that we've purchased. We also have you guys shopping along with us. We tell you what we paid for and what we're gonna sell it for. And I know that's Shocking. weird if Shocking. you're new here that somebody would actually be honest and tell you what they paid for something. But we have tons of you guys that are resellers so it's totally helpful for them. And it's just kind of fun to see what kind of things we can find. If you want to shop along, visit jamierayvintage.com and click Saturday Thrift Haul. Everything's listed. Um, and Caitlin is on here dropping links. Just know things sell fast. So if there's something you want, don't let it sit in your car for too long. All right. I think that's all the disclaimers, Yeah, because your right? car won't hold it for more than like five minutes and then it kicks it back out. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to get started. We have a ton of great stuff. We actually went thrifting three times this week. We just kept driving by the thrift store. Like, we should probably stop. <laughs> well, the first two times weren't super fruitful. And then we we're like, we got to go one more time. And then the third time was fruitful. So we just have a lot of really good stuff. All right. So this is one of those artichoke. This one actually looks more pine coney to me. That's um, the artichoke. -y. But it is the artichoke style. It was $5. Um, did this not get priced? Oh, it's right here. We're selling it for 19 We typically paint these. Does it say it will be painted? Is yes, that is painted? going to be painted. Somebody else painted it white and it's okay. But I probably, I at the very least add dark and decrepit and like dark, glaze it or whatever yeah um it needs something to bring the detail back out or i'm gonna paint and wax it i haven't decided or paint in a dry brush i don't know but it's gonna get painted it's gonna be like super awesome can you guys see that okay when i hold it close there all right next up these just sold so let's show those okay so did you show this on it um no i did not see that on that okay well we're gonna have to paint this a little bit it has a busted uh, thing if you don't want it email caitlin because we didn't disclose that, that i was wasn't broken. gonna paint those so do we... i think we could just do like some silver paint right yeah, there yeah we can do that and you know how did i not see way. that okay well so these if you were don't want three bucks say. and we're selling them for 22.95 we will fix that little chip on the back but if you want to just use them like Look how this how cute they are they're like little um planters like i don't know you, and we're going to give you the greenery but you could also put like flowers in them poinsettias whatever i need a little magic eraser magic but eraser. i like the paint job they did like cream with green laces super super cute the green laces are actually really a great green they're like aviary susan said that's fine okay we will fix them up for you susan okay i'm glad you got them i couldn't leave them because they look they look real like real ice skates except for their like uh what's that called I'm tired. Oh, the plaster. Oh, I was gonna say plaster, C ceramic. No, maybe they're ceramic. I, I don't know. I think they're ceramic. I'll have to revisit what those <laughs> actually are. All right. So this cookie cutter is a second. It was a dollar at the thrift store. We can't actually figure out why it's a second. It's never been used. It's the brown bag cookie art um, mold, I guess you would call it. Yeah, and it's a gingerbread man. Um, and it says second on the back, which I included in the picture and then the listing said that it was a second, but- We don't know why. They're always like super popular because uh, especially around Christmas time. Um, we also did find three of these brown bag cookie mold hearts. Um, they were also a dollar each. They're, um, well, this one actually isn't brown bag. I don't know, ribbon to be removed prior to use. So these are brown bag and this one is yeah, like- Don't cook with the ribbon. Please. <laughs> there is no ribbon in it, but if you do cook in it, take it out. Um, they were a dollar each, and we're selling all three of them for $24.95, which is pretty good price because usually we sell them for at least $10 each, and this is three for $24, so less than $10 bucks each. And these are not seconds. So they'll have they're a all a little bit different. And I actually think they would be really cute if you use these to make like big Christmas ornaments and then painted them with copper patina and white wax. And then you could also save them and use them for like Valentine's Day. So can you guys see these? There's one, two, and three. All right, I'm making All right. a pile back here of stuff that is going to get painted. All right. I don't know where you want to put that. We'll put these over here on this side. All right. All right, to then. Okay. This canister, I'm going to bring this close so you can see it. It's the original Toll House, if you've seen Friends, the <laughs> Nestle Toulouse. The Nestle Toll House cookies. Where's Mariah? She would get that reference. She loves Friends. All right, so original Toll House cookies. It's like, a, really it's like a uh, no. crock, and it's got the recipe 
for their classic chocolate chip cookies right back here Boom, on it. Baby. It's twenty two ninety five. We'll wipe it down. It's got a couple little dust and things, little glazing in the bottom of the inside, but in great shape. When we go up to the camera, it'll get blurry, and then it just takes a while to get not blurry. I'm watching the replay on YouTube just to make sure we're good. Why is my phone not turning? Oh, it's auto locked. You got an auto lock. All right, a couple little uh, canisters here. These are great. They've got some really fun detail. A lot of times we get them and they're just flat. They do have the flat sides. Something like this, we would probably, um, I don't think we're doing them to these, but a lot of times when they have just the flat side and they're not fluted. Is there something, they, it is blurry. Is there blurry. something we can do to make it look better? Sorry guys. See. Zeb doesn't like me to interrupt him, but we're also early enough in the, it's fine on there. I'm just wondering if it's internet. Um, it could be. The internet was struggling today, but I can't reset it midstream. All right. Um, let me just look. I mean, this is the stream that you're seeing right there. That's no, what it is. No, but I'm watching it here. So that might just be because you're streaming on 5G and you don't. You only have up three bars. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess that's as good as it gets. Yeah, that's what we got tonight. Oh, okay. Don't go too close to the screen because then it gets. Yeah, like, that's probably what's happening when I out. when I bring it. It goes close. in, it goes out, and so it will it will do that. Like every time I bring it close to the screen to see the detail because it's going to focus. We also um, film on high def, so check the resolution. And sometimes you have to hop out and hop in, and hopefully that happens. It looks right. good now. So these were two dollars. Two dollars. We're selling them as a set for twenty two ninety five. They were two dollars each. And what I was going to say is we do IOD transfers on these. The crockery ones are great. We're not, though. On not these. on these ones. We're not going to because they've got these fun fluted design on here. But if they were just plain, we probably would. Yeah. So these were how much each and how much are we selling for? $2 each, $22.95 for the set. Boom. And I actually am kind of over basic canisters, but I bought those because they were ribbed on the sides. And I really like that. Oh, let's show this. This turned out really cool. If you guys have seen the reel, we okay. made a little short video of this plate. So this is actually a lampshade and we put a knob. This is a knob, a porcelain knob that Jamie found in England. She brought back four of them or five. I can't remember. She was looking yeah. for them every single store we went into. She only found like four or five and she had them in her own personal collection. So someone is going to get one of her porcelain knobs. We put it on top of here and then this was a big plate that we found and it's the hand painted collection from Hispania. Is that what that says? Espana, which uh, is Spain. Oh, I there's a sticker on it. It was this was a dollar fifty. I think this. Oh, this was a dollar, and I'm pretty sure Jamie painted a couple pounds for this. No. Did you find them less than that? Yeah, they were like two for a pound. Two for a pound. All right. So I had this fifty pence. I had to walk down the back alleys of an England boot sale to find it, but um, we sold it for twenty six ninety five, and somebody already bought Someone it. Someone already got it. But look at how cool that looks all together. It was a match made in heaven. The cream and the green and the clear glass. It just it, it wins. It says um, this marriage isn't. Uh, was a ma Jeannie said this marriage was made in DI heaven. Yes, it was. <laughs> um, let me, I'm going to show the rest of this real quick and then we'll bring some more stuff up. We're going to show the stuff in the back. I'm just going to put this like this just so I can keep track of it in case it does. There we go. In case it goes. Okay, so these were a dollar each. They're like little Stein mugs, they're from Germany. Um, they have, they have really great detail on them, and they've got like all little crests. Different. We're just going to sell them individually for five dollars and ninety-five cents each, and they're really, really cute. I like the, the I like crockery the crockery style. Like that's what they're made out of. Is like that kind of clay. Yeah, they are. What's that called? Um, earthenware. That's what they call it in England. Um, and okay. yeah, they're like stoneware, earthenware mugs. Like the old crocks are made out oh, of them. Like we've the got two ones. that are a match. Yeah, there's a few that are the similar. That says I'd Augsburg. hold them close, but apparently that's making the camera Yeah, we can't show you things. too close. So you're going to have to see from back here. You, or make just go hit up the website and you can see what they look like real nice. Yep. We and I'm watching pictures. on uh, YouTube and it's not blurry on my phone. So depending on where you're at, depending on the internet, it could change things. Uh, these are really cool. I just love like the holly around them and the detail. And I like the faux bois or whatever it's called. The wood. The faux wood handles. 
All right, keep showing them some stuff while hey, I'm back Deb, here. Hey, Deb, Ross, Rossenberger. I actually never asked how to pronounce your last name, and I spent three days with you. Is it Rossenberger or Rosenberger? All right, here you go. I want to show something awesome. <laughs> Halloween's coming. Um, and people like this even not during Halloween, but I just thought I could not pass this up. Polari Mom, the chess pieces are not listed, and I'll tell you in a minute about those. Um, this is a, it's framed. It's actually, miss, this is actually just matted. It's missing the frame, but it's original artwork. You can feel the texture. You can see the motion. It's VR Hughes 1952. Boom. It's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought with Halloween coming up, I couldn't pass that up. It was $2 and we're selling it for $19.95 and it is custom original artwork. It is just the mat. It's missing like the exterior frame, but I think it's cool as is. And I think it would be fun. In, it does like, a have Halloween like one vignette. little scratch here, yeah. but that's probably because I've never the, had any That clown's giving you the it. side eye. He's like, what? <laughs> Leslie said no thank you on the cra the clown. I'm gonna have to Cynthia remember. says, I think it's cute. My husband is scared of clowns. I don't so really somebody, understand that. I said that we had these like old um dolls and they were kind of creepy and I still had some of them left and somebody messaged Caitlin and she was like well let me just see if they're actually creepy because sometimes people think they're creepy and they're not and I collect I like old dolls so she sent to the listing of the dolls we have like three dolls left two yawning dolls and like a bisque doll I think and the gal's like ah oh, no thanks those are creepy <laughs> yeah they're actually upstairs on the second floor so I need to bring them out before Halloween is over you know it's it's really adds to the creepiness when you go up there in the dark and the and old building has lots of creaks and things and you're by yourself and you're <laughs> you like see the dolls over in the corner of the room on the shelf and you get like goosebumps it's fun can you imagine putting that in someone's window oh my gosh that is the best idea ever let's take the screens off so you can see it better and just face it facing outwards the, the like clown? in the shop window yeah the clown uh-huh yeah we're doing that now all right so this is a little avon dish it's got some fun embossed detail here, and it was two dollars. We're selling it for four ninety five. So that one has roses on the flat side, and it's almost like a milk glass, mm -hmm. and it's turquoise, and I love it. I'm gonna hand that and to it's you even embossed on the inside. Like Avon went next level with this. So I got this tin. It's galvanized on the inside. Someone painted it and distressed it before we got it. Could have even been from the factory like that. Um, I got it for 75 cents and we're selling it for eight ninety five. It's a little planter is what that's for. You can put your pot in there with the plant already grown. I was like, you can put your pot there. <laughs> your potted plant. Your potted plant. Let's finish that sentence. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm going to sit straight on. I realized I've spent most of this live facing sideways and it's cricking my back. So you can kind of see the detail there. All right. I'm just going to keep handing stuff to you. Don't let it fall off the end over there. All right. If it doesn't need painted, it's going your side. Got it. Okay. Okay, because we got to hustle. We're not going to make it through okay. this. All right. This little urn, um, going to be painted up. It's It was $1.50. When we're done painting it, probably some dark wax and gold. We've been loving the gold and like the uh, the golden rule wax. Um, and it's going to be $19.95. I'm going to French done. country the crap out of that urn and sell it for 20 bucks. We're going to make a book called French country, the crap out of your house. How to French country, the crap out of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I found the next title to our book. My mother would be like, don't say crap. You might as well say the S word. It's the same thing. That's what she says. She's probably right. She's probably right. She's not wrong. That's for sure. Okay. So these are little saucers, another thrift store marriage. Um, just fun little porcelain plates with the square. It kind of gives them a little more detail. And then these small little cloches. The cloches were 75 cents. And these, I think, were also 50 cents or 75 cents. So hear me out. Okay. Teeny tiny mini bottle brush tree, a little dab of hot glue, a little bit of fake snow. This would make the cutest mini snow globe ever. Well, they're $7.95 each. So you can get your snow globe on. If you want, we got two. If they don't sell, I'm going to sell them for more because I'm going to turn them into snow globes. So if you have any mini bottle brush trees, you can make you can make this happen. Watch out. Bottle brush tree, snow globe situation on its way. So this was $1.50. It's got a ton of like etching on the bottom here. 
and it's just a little glass pedestal might have had a cloche or something at one point because this is upturned but not sure on that it it's not uh it's not hand blown it's pressed you can see the seams on there but they did a pretty good job hiding it it was a dollar fifty we're selling it for 8.95 i love the embossing on it like it's just really really pretty I, how much were these do you remember they didn't have the price tag on them anymore i think it's a dollar they were in a bag they were in a bag they were a dollar each we're calling these the beehive salt and pepper shakers i don't know if that's going to help you see the detail on them um selling the set for 8.95 just need a little cleaning a lot of times when you get grab stuff at the thrift store it doesn't need a lot of work you just need to make sure that it's cleaned up and then it's good to go again just because it's there and you got a good deal on it doesn't mean that you can't sell it for what it's worth if you're out there thrifting and uh and uh, making a living at it so this says not for food use so i'm guessing <laughs> it actually says not for food use may poison food Lillian Vernon. So this is for decor only, people. For decor only. But Jamie couldn't pass up the, it's kind of like a royal blue with the chicken the rooster on there. That's so cute. Caitlin's going to be right back. She couldn't find her charger and her computer's going to die. Don't so. let your computer die. You got to link die. stuff, Caitlin. <laughs> All right, $16.95. two bucks. We're selling it for $16.95. And then this little saucer slash creamer slash we would probably even go as far as like, this is enough gravy for like four biscuits, maybe five, depending on who you are. Maybe or six like if you really people? push it. If you really push it out, maybe six biscuits, um, biscuits and gravy. But this is, it was a buck. It's USA pottery, which is super collectible and desirable. I'm trying to find flea bites on here. And the only thing I can find is one little one down in the front and then the gold is kind of coming off of the rim probably from being washed or had a had a spoon or something hanging over the edge because it's on both sides right here here's your prize yes <laughs> i thrifted this and jamie looked at me like what are you going to do with that two things i thought it would be amazing to put your eggs piling out the top um also thought it would be really cool with fruit in it um, or if you didn't want to do that, I thought it would be really cool on a table centerpiece with like ferny faux stuff falling out with flowers or something in the middle. Oh, and I forgot. Don't remember. I'm going to tell them about the chess pieces. You finish your, well, you that's, finish your pitch. Those were my ideas. So it's big. It was $4 at the thrift store and we're selling it for $44.95. Okay. Les, I just checked and the links are working for me. So I don't know why the website's not working. Should be people. You. We getting people. You can hear the <laughs> ding over here. Rob says that's a gravy bowl. So I put on the link to this. Kaylin's not on. This here. is for gravy. So she's not dropping the link for this particular item. But um, yeah, I put like will be way cooler than it act is right now, or something like that. I'm like trophy will get painted and be way cooler than it actually is right now, <laughs> or something like that. So we are gonna paint it and make it over and just make it super awesome. I haven't decided exactly how that's gonna happen. But I have every faith in Zeb that he's going to just make that the I'll do one of those trophy. Gustavian finishes. Everybody on that last dresser we painted, they're like, I love it. But I don't like the drips. I hate the drips. I'm probably going to make it a little drippy. You won this fruit. <laughs> <Grabo>. <laughs> <laughs> Your trophy is this bowl of fruit. Okay, so here's the thing about the chest um, sets. Uh, Zeb did not go through them. He wants to make sure all the pieces are there. Also, he wants to make chess boards for them. And while I do approve this purchase, I do think that it could be months before he actually gets to making chess boards or I paints love these. making chess boards. So I am apprehensive to put them on the website because I do not want to paint them and I cannot make chess boards. So once Seb makes a set and finishes it all up, then we'll list them. So in about 2029, we will have these for sale. They were $3 each. And I have zero clue how much we're going to sell them for because I don't know what kind of chess board he's going to actually be making for him. So I was thinking it would be really cool because sometimes I make them all nice and fancy and they're glossy and they look like they came off of factory finish. I thought it would be cool to paint these up and then do something like kind of more salvage wood for the chess board because that would be, I feel like that would be just a better uh, like for what and he, our aesthetic. He was like, you know what? I'm not going to buy one. I'm going to buy every single chess set. That it's like they the have. chess club got new chess pieces and they unloaded. Look at this. 
I mean, I don't doubt that you can I, make it cool. I don't I doubt love that. Chess was part of the chess club myself I, growing up. I think somebody has purchased your trophy, and it is Denise. Denise, that trophy. And it, that is the exact words were large trophy will get painted and made cooler than it already is. <laughs> Look at all my chess sets, and these Look are at these good chess big sets. pieces. They're really detailed. They're like tournament style sets. They do have the matted boards in here. Um, but I'm I'm going to probably make, I might do some sets without any boards and just paint them up like Christmas ornaments and do an eye toppers. in the top so that you can hang them like on your I Christmas mean, tree. This coming I have some to ideas. A, <laughs> I have some ideas. If we do it for Waste on Wednesday, he might complete one set. <laughs> Could be coming up this How week. How many sets did you buy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we could have 20 people playing at once. I I feel like I'm ready to start my own club now. Uh, there was an old guy standing by me. And when I say old guy, he was probably pushing 90. You spent $30 on these chess sets. That's okay. I feel, I feel like one of these is worth probably about 45 because they're pretty heavy duty. I feel like what you really are is a prepper. And you're like, if the world goes to crap and there's no internet, we're going to need something to do to entertain. And these are going to be worth a million dollars. I think that's what you were I mean, thinking. if anything, we could always just line them up and shoot them. <laughs> I with used to do BB, that with, with my, a little BB gun. I used to do that with my little green plastic army men. <laughs> All right. I might want that white metal base. I can't get to the hall with white metal base. This? This? Less? I don't know. Show them that. So this it was one dollar. Oh. It's a just a porcelain box and we're selling it for $12.95. I'm selling it as is, but I actually think it'd be super cute uh, with an IOD uh, transfer on the top of it because it's like a nice base for that. Oh. Somebody must have made this because they signed it in it's, 2000. It's almost like milk glass, but not. Claude, Mo Claude Monet? No. I'm just kidding. I don't know. So it's cut. It's like hand. Somebody did this in porcelain class. There is a petite chip on the bottom. Not really visible because it's on the bottom, but. That looks like it says Chris Moon. Chris Moon. Chris J. Moon. Maybe make a throne like Game of Thrones. I've never watched Game of Thrones, so I don't know what that looks like. The corner of the table. I don't know. This corner over here. I don't see it. We'll get to it eventually. This pedestal here, is she talking about this, Jamie? Oh, this is on the oh that's already on the website. It's not on the thrift hall. Um, if it is, it's from a while back. We did a Waste Not Wednesday on it, and it had flowers sitting on it. This is called, if you want to look this up, Antique Lamp Salvage. It's $34.95, this. And it has marble. It's a brass, solid brass. And a brass base. base. It actually had flowers sitting on it until like four this afternoon because they were starting to wilt and they... All right, away. so this is Pyrex. The corner of the lid is chipped a little. Someone has already wisely pre-sanded it for me. I don't have to. And I put this. in the listing that the lid had the chip in it, and I showed a picture. I think you could probably see my hand holding it in the picture. Um, I love this actual Pyrex print. A lot of Pyrex, I'm not going to lie, not my favorite because it's not my color scheme. But navy with the cream and the speckles, this would look really good in any like French country style house. So I love this particular pattern. And I think how much is this one? I just oh, so we we got it for three dollars. We're selling it for fifteen. It does have the lid. A lot of times we'll still sell this for like twelve ninety five without gonna say, the lid. I was just gonna say the same thing. I would sell it for twelve ninety five. But I'm selling for fifteen ninety five because albeit it has a chip, it still has the lid on it, which is pretty cool. And did I, I just say fifteen? Yeah. I 15 think it's the only piece we have like this. We sold that friendship Pyrex dish that was like twenty something dollars. Actually, that just sold this week. And Robert noticed that I have a new shirt on. Yeah. Um, this is our new I Love Junk. We've carried the I Love Junk shirts for a while with our little Jamie Ray Vintage board, but this is a larger logo, and the Jamie Ray Vintage is just small down here at the bottom. It's classy. It's classy and I small. I love junk. Classy. It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it comes in hot pink and black. And we do sell these on our website and in the shop if you're local. Tell them about this bell and why. Um, I bought this bell because somebody came in the shop and asked if I had anything for a 50th anniversary. 
and we have sold quite a few since I started purchasing 50th anniversary things. So I like to have like three or four of them in the shop um, because people like them. And this one is actually made in Japan, which I think is really fun. And it was a dollar and I'm selling this bell for $12.95 and it has gold on it. So it's probably like actual gold leaf usually is how these are made. So Ta -da. I got to hold it down where you guys can see it. Where are my paper crafters at? Okay. Oh, Sally Von Swole. It's super chat over here. Oh, you Sorry. know what? She sent one last week and we I missed it in the chat. So I'll oh, thank okay. you, Sally. Thank I appreciate you, Sally. That. She said, you both look great, rested. The grand opening was wonderful. Congrats. Now I'm shopping for Christmas presents. Um, and then let's see. Somebody asked what a flea bite was. That was Kelly. It's just a little tiny chip. It's typical in like older China. Um... Seeing, I love Zeb's chair. Thank you. We have a video on it. That's why he's shorter today. And Caitlin, oh, Caitlin is back under her own name. Um, she's not on StreamYard, so she's probably on her phone is why she's under Caitlin Chambers. And she just said, uh, she just shared the link for my shirt. All right. Are the links working, though, with Caitlin dropping them from her phone? I don't know. I can't tell on this end. Okay. All right. So I think I put enough things up. We can keep showing stuff. We've got... It looks like three more things back, four more things back here, five. Um, yeah. So we'll show go. them We're the basket. Along. Okay. Oh, show, tell, show them the, I don't remember the paper craft getting, we didn't price that. Was that not listed? The paper craft stuff? So this is like a bunch of paper doilies. Oh, Tons like of them. Tons. There's like hundreds in here. Paper doily. That's really bright. So you're not going to be able to see it's the like, detail. Well, those ones are cut out and one of them is embossed. Hold on. Just let me see if I can find them. So they were $3. Ooh, thanks, Caitlin. I don't know that they made the cut. I'm going to see. I'm going to just see if the camera move on, will focus. Move on to the next item and I'll see if I can find them. Caitlin, okay. can you find the doilies? I swear that I, yes. Lot of vintage paper doilies. Found it. Okay, it's going to get blurry, but then we're going to go clear. Okay. 1895. And it comes with, I, I personally did not count them because there's a crap ton, which I don't know if you know, but that's more than a load. Uh, it's probably over a hundred doilies, don't you think? Mm -hmm. um, of each kind. I maybe mean, maybe, more. maybe 60 of the small ones. No, that's a lot. Because yeah, that's like, probably right. I know that's about a hundred, at yeah. least a hundred of each style. These bigger ones are like a vintage embossed. They're embossed like a... Like These stationary. would be so cute for paper crafting, um, ornaments, tags, uh, banners. Like take those and stamp on them. Anyways, uh, how much were they for the all? Eighteen ninety five for all of them. It was three dollars is what you bought it for. Ooh, that's loud. And eighteen ninety five for all of them. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Um, A little bean pot here, complete okay. with lid. We never find these with the lids. Somebody the other day came into the shop and said, do you have anything for fermenting? I'm looking for a crock with a lid. And I wish I could remember her name. Maybe she'll so watch this, this is, live. This is made in the USA. We picked it up for $3 at the thrift store. We're selling it for $24.95. $24.95. And it comes with the lid. And both of the handles have not, like a lot of times we'll find these and the handles have been glued back on. They're both sturdy and not glued. And it's made in the USA. It is stamped as such on the bottom. So if you need to make like sauerkraut or whatever, this is good because it has a lid. But I've never made it, but that's what I've been told. <laughs> All right, so this is like a whoa, it's like a shadow box, but not shadowed. It's really wide. I when I saw this, I'm like that could be a pedestal. Unscrew this, and you could even make it two sided. Um, this was a dollar. What I'm thinking is, we'll just paint it up, decoupage or stencil it. Take uh, off the yeah. I got to take off the little wall. We'll hanger. take off the wall hanger, and then it's going to be like a riser. Yeah, sixteen ninety five for that, and we'll do. We're going to paint this and do something cool. The print on there is not bad, but the the framed side is like this gross brownish, aged faux age something or other. They it's tried to do like a really cool Jamie Ray vintage finish on there, but they used a machine and not a human, and it's not bueno. It's not good on the side. All right. Who loves Crate and Barrel? Because this oh, can is you made fix in the camera. Yeah, this is made in Italy from Crate and Barrel. Look how dark it gets when I'm it got blurry because that went close to the camera. So it'll be a minute and it'll fix itself. All right. It'll be better. Stop going close, like it's real bad. Is it bad? It's bad. Do, 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 Did do, it stay do. bad? It um, should, like I refocused it. 
Yeah, that's what people are seeing. Okay, I'll stop touching it. All right, so, well, that's okay. Oh, well, that was blurry because the camera stopped. It should be good and focused It's again. starting to get better, but it's still a little blurry. I will blurry. no longer right. go close again, I promise. I love when people are, like, talking about it, and then it's, like, blurry. Blurry. Still really blurry. Blurry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm focused on this bowl. $3. This is from Crate and Barrel. It's probably a small lot type manufacturer because there are imperfections in the finish indicative of like smaller ceramic lots, not like mass produced. It was $3 and we're selling for $24.95. I personally had no idea that it was cream barrel. I simply bought it because it's a large serving dish and it's got a scalloped edge and it's just a color that I really like. So we got it for three bucks. We're selling it for $24.95. True that. Um, let's see. Basket. Giant basket. I don't know if you'll be able to see me in the background. I it's, will skip. I'll, I'll let you know if they can this see This thing you. is, is it might as well be like solid wood. It is so sturdy. And it's good for skipping. You can really get your arms swinging. Like, I mean, high jumps. Look at that. Probably can't even see how high I'm getting because you can only see my hips. But super great basket. It was $6. The reed on here is very sturdy. Are you going up there? No, they think that it's trying to focus on this. Oh, maybe. It's very clear. <laughs> here, touch it and let it, uh, oh, never mind. You're good. All right. So the basket's super, super sturdy. Like I would even say you could haul kindling in this. Um, um, yeah, it's better. Six dollars, <laughs> and this is forty six ninety five. Is how much we're selling it for? Well, there you go. Um, Who knew? This basket is like I, I know he's already talked about, but let me just tell me you like there's different varying degrees of basketness. This basket is thick. It's well made. It's not orange. It's slightly distressed, and it's the correct shade of brown for all your vintage cottaginess. That's the that's like there. If there, you know, it's like grading in diamonds. I feel like there's grading in baskets <laughs> literally it's so much clearer now it was the chocolate the chocolate was getting in the way yes <laughs> all right tell them about this <laughs> real fast funny. okay um so we have our next craft kit coming out that doesn't look like much now because it's just plain but we have our manufacturer working on a stencil that should be ready the proof should be ready hopefully monday we're just tweaking a few things and what do you think this is going to look like it's gonna look like the front of our shop, which is an old church. And I thought it'd be really cool to make something like this. We could even do like some snow and then maybe a little glitter and make it look like a, like a Christmas village, almost kind of like one of those putts houses, but it's going to be our church shop. It's gonna have the little arch it's the on the next top. Craft kit. I can show you, I, actually I can show you the- um, Caitlin, do you mind dropping the craft kit link if you're still able to do that? This is not the final, um, this is the final cutout. This, this is the is, final cutout. This, this is, is not the, the final stencil because we're altering it Are a little bit. Are you going to dare to go close? I'm going to, yeah. Can you guys see that? Uh, so that's a stencil that we're going to be working on that will go on this cutout. Anyways, that's the next craft kit. So if you guys are signed up, that's what you're getting. If you're not signed up, Caitlin's going to drop cool the link. It's because it's like the very, it's really similar to the very front of this church here. And that is going to uh, only be available in the craft kits. So if you want like a church stencil, there you go. It's, that's, it's coming in the craft kits. All righty. Okay. So I got two of these. Are they sold separately? They are. Let's show. That's kind of in the front four, okay. foreground or front ground. So I this, is, this is like Jamie's favorite thing to thrift. They go over the top of like your toilet, like little vanity type. It situations. could be next to your sink, and you could put your towel on it. Yeah, you could. It does have a little towel rack here. Somebody handmade this. It's solid wood. We're gonna paint it up super, super cute. Um, put some sort of we maybe find stencil a lot on of the these. front. There's probably yeah. a shop, like a wood shop at the high school, like teaching how to make these because we find probably one a month. Yep, and it, it's gonna be twenty six ninety five painted. It was three dollars. Dana says that stencil looks so cool. Thank you. All right, Karen, I can see your comment, at least the last one. All right, well, let's tell them, these actually kind of look like trophies too. 
But these are not trophies. They are um, urns with leaf handles. That's what I put them as, I think. So someone spray painted them gold. We're going to leave the gold on there, but bring it, paint it and bring it back through. It's too much gold. I mean, it, honestly, if there were a bunch of molds on it and it was like fancy and then it had dark and decrepit and it was all aged and patinaed, I think it'd be cool. But it's weird that like these are so ornate and then this is flat. So my plan is to do some sort of mold design on the front okay. and then paint them. And we paid $5 each and we're going to sell them for $24.95. A lot of times when we're thrifting, we're literally just looking for a base to craft on. So essentially, it's just like buying supplies. And But instead of buying new crafting supplies, we're just taking old things to craft on um, and make them new again. And it's cheaper, better for the environment, and you get cooler stuff. So think about that. The next time you want to do a craft project, think about what you want to start with. See so if you can find it thrifting first. Um, what are you, what I'm going to model this. Okay, well, your mic's far away, so it's don't okay. sing. I won't be singing. Um, this is a scarf that we found at the thrift store. It was $3. I actually bought it because I think it would make a fab table runner because it's really long and wide. Like, it would it would work across this table that we have right now. But you also oh. could wear it like, um, Cynthia says you look like a babushka. Um, and Rosie, were they metal? Yes, song. those gold urn things were metal. My fiddler on the roof. Well, you're very warm now. I am actually really warm. You're probably don't sweat on the merchandise. <laughs> Tickle in my face. I feel like it's been so. A this long. is twelve ninety five. It's like more of a shawl. I've got it on the top of my head because it's chilly outside. It's going to be fifty soon. <laughs> And, and this is a vintage blanket. This one does have just like a slight little tear in it, but it's only nineteen ninety five. So I think you know you can fold that away if you're going to use it as a throw or something. It's like this big. They want you to grandma would like you to sing. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. There you go. He sang for you. That's so all you get. Twelve ninety five. It was three dollars. <laughs> getting you're getting hot. Like I could feel your heat through your head. <laughs> And this one is $19.95, but it was $4 to begin with. You can, you can buy this scarf that Zeb sweat all over for the low, low price of $12.95. All right, let's show. It Leslie bought this, so sweaty. let's show this. It's just a hint of sweat. This is really cool. It is a solid wood. It's what it's not dovetail. This is finger joints. It's finger jointed, but I actually love all the drawers are finger the jointed. Look of finger joints. What are the screws in here for? He can sing too. Yes, Seb can sing. I cannot sing. And at church, I need him to be sitting next to me singing to try to keep me on in, in tune. And at my dad's funeral, for whatever reason, I was able to hold it together and sing. Actually, I know the reason. I prayed ahead of time that I wouldn't lose my crap because I had to talk. And I can't say that. Oh, sorry. Your I mom's gonna get mad. prayed ahead of time that I would not bawl because I needed to be able to talk. And God totally came through and I could sing, which sometimes I can't even sing at church because I start feeling the spirit and I just cry. Anyways, Zeb was bawling and I had to sing. And then I kind of started chuckling because I don't sing very well when he's not singing next to me. I'm like, man, I am not good at singing. <laughs> Anyways, he is a good singer and he's showing off this um, cubby. Leslie bought it. It has five drawers. I'm going to paint it up and then each one is going to get a number on the front of the drawer. Is finger joint the same as dovetail? No. So dovetail actually is like a shape like this that fits down in. It looks like a dove's tail is why it's called that. Finger joints are just cut out square. So there's no, there's no shape on yeah. them. They're just in there. Um, and they come in varying sizes. I like to just use the eighth inch kerf of my saw blade to make finger joints. Zeb doesn't make a lot of finger joints. If Zeb made that, it'd be like $400. So... I was happy to pick it up for how much did we buy that for? Uh, I think it was like four dollars or five dollars. Four or five bucks. Yeah. Hang on. Where's the tag? I'm looking. I don't see it. Maybe it was uh, on the. No, front. it was five dollars. I think. Um, and really, again, that's just a base for a craft. And if I were to buy that at a craft store, it cost me a lot more than five dollars. So thrifting is always a really good way to get started with awesome stuff. Okay. Did we? <laughs> Frida show? said, "Love that story, Jamie. God is good. He is so good." Because I really, I did not think I would be able to 
do it. Plus, I part of what I was talking about was I was talking about my dad's testimony about Jesus. So, like, you couple me talking about Jesus, which will make me cry any day, along with my dad's funeral. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to make it through this, but I did. So, I think these are the there last two items. Um, I think so. I think I grabbed them all. Yes. Picked up this shelf sitter clock. Love it. It is such great detail. I'm not going to paint the face. The rest of it will most likely be painted. Um, it's got, this is not as good up here. It's like faux, floral, it was faded. $15. Um, it also, the case is like just a typical made in China, but the movement is from Germany. So like the interior movement is from Germany. So it's not just like a crappy clock situation. Um, it's La Brett interior. It was $15. We're selling it Did for $46.95. Um, no, no, it says it? it's five of five like this is what it says. Now I'm curious. Um, and we're selling it for how much? Sub? It might have been $105 from the looks of that. We're selling it for $46.95 after we paint it. Now that I'm live, I'm going to look up This top is brass too, and you can pick it up. This thing is heavy. It's probably a Brett. solid 20 pounds. Brett. But you can see next to my arm here. It's almost the same height up to the handle. It's big. Oh, it's a store in Holiday, Utah. Oh, really? No, I, no I'm like, are you bougie? It has five stars. There you go. Well, Holiday is a super nice area up on the bench. Like, yeah. Like, we're talking 10,000 square foot homes. <laughs> How is my mom doing? She is doing okay. Not like perfect, but she's doing well. Just, okay. Just don't mess with her routine in the day and you will survive. So Grambo said that she hummed when we were talking about singing. And Kelly <laughs> says that clock, I love it. And we are blurry again. Sorry, guys. It must be an internet situation. It could be. I don't know what to do. I don't know either. Maybe we need to move. Maybe the boosters are Maybe we should just go here. home. No. We have to show <laughs> this. All right. Well, let's just. And you were going to stencil something. I was going to stencil something. But how about we do this instead? Let's show this last item. Okay. And then on Monday, we're going to have another paint a palooza because there is a crap. Oh, I can't say that word. There is a, well, Caitlin would say this. I think you this. just actually use it a lot. There's a poop ton of stuff. <laughs> it needs to be painted. And we are really busy. So my idea is that we will have a painting palooza like we did uh, about a couple months ago where we just painted till we got all the way finished with everything. So that will come for Monday. Instead of having a video, we're going to have a paint marathon. Don't forget to list this. It was hiding in here. I didn't know I bought that. <laughs> that can go next to the Eiffel Tower that I also forgot to list. But let me look. You Tell them about this, and then I'll look so at our schedule so I can a, tell them when we're going to do the paint -a palooza. This is a wooden cookie jar, and this is like, I don't know. What is that? Needlepoint? What do you call that? Cross-stitch, but it's not actually cross-stitch. It's like a pattern. Like, no. Pick it up. Is it actual cross stitch? It's actual cross stitch. No. Yes. Keep pulling. Yeah, it's cloth. <gasps> it is. Okay, I was going to totally put something else in that hole, but now don't, I'm not going to. I'm going to paint the wood because I think the wood money. could be better. It's, it's not bad. Um, and I paid $4 for it, but I'm going to leave the cross stitch in and I'm going to sell for $22.95. I am actually thinking that this is 100% homemade. Yeah, it's all handmade. It's super cute. Because this is not level. They've tilted it down a little bit. Someone made this and did the cross stitch. This is a handmade, loved item. It's really well done. Oh, my gosh. They're coming up with the best words for poop ton. Um, but this this wins the prize, which there isn't actually a prize. But Sandy says, I wouldn't let my daughter say crap, so she said it backwards. Park. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that works. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Okay. So we were going to do, we have some stencils and things out here. You want to just show them what we we're going to do so they can look forward to what's going to happen Monday? What time is it? I don't know what time. Uh, we got like 16 minutes left. But. Um, I'm just going to paint Leslie's box and stencil it, but we're actually going to finish all the projects on Monday. So I looked at our calendar. We don't, do you have anything going on that you didn't tell me about? Monday? I never have anything going okay, on. Okay, so 10 a.m. I mean, I do have stuff going on, but I wake up and like, I'm like, okay, this morning I'm going to clean out the basement. And when I'm done with that, then I'm going to clean out the garage. You know, that's, the so guy, that's what, what my I'm Monday thinking is like. we'll get the kids off to school. We'll eat breakfast. We'll go live at 10 a.m. 
10 a.m. Monday. And we'll just paint until all the thrift halls. It's going to be like the last time we did this, it was like a three hour long live stream and people oh, were coming and going. Patricia Lane bought the clock and said, don't paint it. So For I real, will Patricia, leave the clock you don't here. Want to paint it? Part of the reason that we do the thrift hall at the shop is because we don't have to move the stuff 8,000 times. Like we come here and guess what? We just go home. We don't have to wake up Sunday morning to an island full of junk. I still might go home and then come back Monday morning and get this stuff that we're going to paint for the paint of Palooza. I also have some things in the garage that need fixed. We might do some repairs. Um, but sticky note, don't paint. So we've got, we actually probably have two of these coming up. We might do one this coming Monday and then the Monday afterwards because we've got some new christmas decoupage paper on the way it's not here yet i don't think it'll be here by monday but we'll show you that hopefully design it's there by and the next use week. it yeah, yeah hopefully before all we right go. guys um we're gonna go though because we're not painting and the internet's coming in and out so. yeah if it's not if it's blurry we don't want to have bad quality for the replay so we got oh patricia wants to paint it herself hey we will let you do that you know what i would love that if you send us a picture when you're done and see what you did because i love seeing what you guys did in my mind i mean you can do what you want but in my mind I was actually going to leave the face the way that it was mm -hmm. and then do like a sagey green color with a white two tone with a little bit of clear and dark wax because there's some sage green in the face and I think that'd make it pop. But you do you. We're not going to paint it. The sticky note's on there and we're going to go. Um, All right, guys. We're going to go to bed. Well, actually, no, we're gonna go I actually peaches. have peaches that I blanched and they were cooling before we came over here. So I'm going to go do that. So paint a palooza 10 a.m. Monday. We're going to paint all the thrift hall stuff. If you like What's this video. What's the date on Monday? Uh, the third. Yes, Monday the third. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And don't forget to shop Jamie Ray Vintage for all your awesome finds, home decor, clothing, and DIY needs. All right. You're gonna, oh, hit you're end. Gonna, you're gonna do it right there. If okay, we're yeah, go. 10 a.m. Mountain time, which is like uh, 9 a.m. Pacific and no. Oh yes, 9 a.m. Pacific. And 12 Eastern. You went backwards. I always go from East Coast. Over. I always go to California because that's where I always want to be. All Good right. night.